have a couple of the brand new 2020 Ford Explorers. This one is the ST model that just launched here at the Detroit Auto Show. And it's going to be the most exciting one out of all of them, in my opinion. It's going to be 400 horsepower with a top speed of 143 miles an hour for a Explorer ST. It's an ST branded Explorer now. It gets a three liter twin turbo V6 that you will find in many Lincolns like the Continental. Uh, I think it's in the Navigator too. It makes 400 horsepower and 415 pound feet of torque. It's uh, exclusively paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission. And Ford very, very specifically said that it would be faster than a Range Rover Sport during the press conference when they debuted this vehicle. This is one of the Explorers in the brand new rear wheel drive based lineup. So Ford has completely refreshed this platform for the latest generation. ST is one of them. There's a couple other ones that we'll go around and look at. The ST has specially tuned dampers and it's got different springs. It's supposed to sharpen the handling and performance um, for, I mean, and they also are offering something called like a ST track pack for an Explorer, which I find quite interesting. We'll see how many people will take their three row large SUVs actually tracking. We look at the interior, it's got a couple of the uh, ST features. It actually says Ford Performance here. ST is embroidered on the seats. This is the brand new interior, so this does not have the large screen. I'll show you guys that in a second. Here is the single front display. It says ST on the steering wheel. We'll hop around back. It's on these pretty large, large wheels, red calipers. This blue color is beautiful. I really do like the way the new ST looks. And uh, ST in most aggressive version looks pretty good. Pricing will probably be around 50 grand, a little bit more than the Explorer Sport for the latest generation vehicle. We also have to talk about the regular Explorers that have been upgraded. Uh, brand new platform, rear wheel drive base. Supposedly 200 pounds lighter than the previous generation and it's got a six inch longer wheelbase. Rear wheel drive front engine, 2.3 liter four cylinder is the base engine option um, available here. It's increasing horsepower to 300 horsepower, uh, still 310 pound feet of torque. You also get the three liter EcoBoost V6 for the platinum trim. It gets rid of the 3.5. Uh, it makes 365 horsepower and 380 pound feet of torque. Uh, that's actually lower in the platinums and such than you get in the full Massive Attack ST SUV. This is a vehicle that can tow 5,600 pounds when um, you're equipped with the 3-liter EcoBoost V6. The other big news today is there is a new hybrid Explorer, which they actually, I think, believe they launched that with the, here's the police interceptor. I actually worked on this car when I was an employee at Ford and vehicle engineering. The new hybrid Explorer police interceptor, but the regular ones are also getting a hybrid. It's got a 318 horsepower, 3.3 liter V6 combination um, with over 500 miles of range. There's no official numbers on the torque, but it's a uh, hybrid system. So 500 miles out of a 19.3 gallon tank for such a large SUV is pretty impressive, I think. The new Explorer will come in a couple trims. You get base, XLT, Limited, ST, and Platinum. Uh, pricing is not officially announced for all of them. Apparently, the base one is going to be only a couple hundred bucks more than the previous generation, so low 30,000 starting price. I think it's really cool they've refreshed it. It's one of their best-selling vehicles, uh, a really important SUV for Ford and for a lot of families who drive these cars out there. A lot of new technology, all the pre-collision warning and this assist and that safety warning is all going to be a lot of it standard on the vehicle. And let's see, I'm going to find one that has the large screen on the inside. Looks like you just took a gigantic iPad and stuck it in the middle. I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, it's one of the upgrade options. You can see it on this vehicle here. Here is another ST. Look at that. Sitting inside the brand new Explorer ST. This is my first time in a t production 2020 Explorer. It's need the same rotary shift knob that we were just looking at in the GT500. Got your multiple drive modes. It's very spacious. Overall, it's nice to see them update this vehicle. It's interesting to see an ST version, but I guess there sort of was a precedence with the Explorer Sport. But now we have an Edge ST and an Explorer ST, and the Fiesta ST and Focus ST, I think, are pretty much dead, which is a little bit disappointing to me because I prefer cars to SUVs. But it looks like this Explorer will be really great to compete against things like the Highlander um, and other vehicles in its segment. A lot of great new technology, performance, 
Um, you got the new hybrid police vehicles, the hybrid production vehicles, the ST, and then even the regular ones there, increasing towing capacity, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it's a nice change. Really excited to see how these things sell. Hope you guys like this walk around showing you the new explorers and talking about the facts. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching.